welcome to another Wake and Bake. It's almost that time of year again, music festival season. Coachella is right around the corner, and I want to do some cookies inspired by the makeup that's worn at music festivals, and just the boho and carefree vibes. So I decided to make this little girl right here. She has cute little space buns, we're twinning, and edible gold stars as face glitter. If you haven't already, please subscribe down below for more fun Wake and Bake video tutorials. Okay, let's get started on making these cute cookies. First, I'm gonna to cream together one cup of unsalted room temperature butter. Once that's nice and mixed, I'll add in one cup of sugar, just a little bit at a time. Then I'm gonna add in one egg and a tablespoon of vanilla extract for a little flavor. Once the egg is fully combined, I'll set it aside for later. Time for the dry ingredients. I'll start with three cups of flour. Then I'll add in one teaspoon of baking powder. And make sure to give this a really good stir. I'm going to add the flour in parts so each gets fully mixed in. When I add the last of the flour, the dough will start to form, so I'll stop as soon as it's mixed and I'll do the rest by hand. I like to make cleanup easier after, so I laid down some parchment paper to knead the dough on. The cool thing about parchment paper is that it tends to never stick to anything, unlike my kitchen counter. This way, I also don't need to add any flour as I need, since the parchment paper doesn't stick to the dough. This is totally a good workout for your arms, by the way. You can't tell, but I'm really feeling the burn right here. I just keep kneading until everything is incorporated. I separate the dough into two sections and will use one section to make the cookies. I like to flatten the dough so it's easier to roll out later. This dough is quite sturdy, so I don't need to refrigerate prior to cutting out the cookies, which is the best because then I don't have to wait for the dough to chill in the fridge and I can get right into rolling it out. I'm using another parchment paper on top to roll my rolling pin over, so there's no flour needed again and less of a mess. And I like to use the base of the rolling pin instead of the handles, as it gives me a lot more control. I'm using a Mickey Mouse cookie cutter to cut out these cookies. I love using cookie cutters for multiple different shapes. The Mickey Mouse ears are perfect for the space buns. I'm gonna put them in the oven at 370 degrees for eight minutes. Okay, next I'll be making the royal icing to decorate the cookies with. I'm starting with one egg white and a teaspoon of cream of tartare, which helps to stabilize the royal icing. And this is optional, but I do recommend it. Next, I'll add in one and a half cups of royal icing and mix that until all the air bubbles are gone and it's fully incorporated. I'll scrape down the sides and then we're good to go with the base of the royal icing. Here are all the tools that you'll need to decorate the cookies and I'll leave them in the description box below. The cookies are done and I'm going to start decorating her face with some royal icing that I dyed flesh colored. I'm going to outline her face to right below her hairline and fill that in.
I'll use a toothpick to make sure there's no empty spaces. Next, I'll pipe in the base of her hair with some black royal icing. I recommend waiting about a half an hour for the icing to harden before you start on the details. Here, I'm adding some additional lines for her middle part. Now for her little buns, I'm adding crisscross lines in every direction to add some hair texture. For her face, I'm using an edible black pen, and I love edible pens because it's so much easier to draw small details rather than pipe them out. Plus, it's super fun to color with pens that are edible. Next, I'm using some clear piping gel in a toothpick, and just put some of the gel under her eyes to act as the glue for the stars. I also use a clean toothpick to attach the stars to her face. For some reason, the stars just attach to the toothpick without any glue. And I'm all for it since it's way easier than using my hands. <music> Lastly are her lips. I'm just drawing a little M shape and connecting that underneath. <music> now my festival girl is all ready to go. There you have it, my festival ready girls. And feel free to change up the hair colors or the skin tone and kind of customize it the way that you want. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!